Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Roxanne, this is Daily Rambles. Today, we're doing stuff in the daylight, because it's blinding almost. Anyway, uh, we're doing Thor, the movie that came out in 2011. Uh, this is my review for it. I've seen this about three or four times. It's a great movie, and I just want to do a bunch of reviews and just kind of knock it out before Black Panther gets into theaters, which will be sometime very soon. So anyway, uh, let's just jump right into this. So we start off with uh, Jane and her team are doing star calculations, and the sky opens up. So they actually go to the anomaly, and they hit a guy with their van, which turns out to be Thor. Then we cut to a while, a long time ago, Odin's given like a backstory to where the Frost Giants attacked Earth. Then Odin of Asgard just defeated them and took their power. And so he's selling it to his two kids, Loki and Thor. And Thor's like, I want to defeat them all. Like he wants to be a warrior, obviously. And then um, we cut to the present day where uh, Thor is a show off. And very full of himself, and it's also his coronation. But down below the castle, where all the weapons and all the treasures are, the Frost Giants try to take back their power, but they have like an insane guard that just obliterates them to nothing. And um, then Thor finds out about it and kind of starts the coronation and they go to it. And Thor wants to be a hothead and go to the planet, but Odin's like, slow your roll. Calm down. You don't need to be doing that because it may not be the Frost Kings. Will might just be a couple of rogue people that just kind of got here by accident. Or, or, you know, they went on their own and the king did not send them. That's the main point. But then Loki talks to Thor and kind of riles him up and said, Thor wants to go to the Frost Giants world. So he goes to recruit the friends who, of course, agreed to go. And then they, um, then we get to see him going through the Rainbow Bridge, and you get to see the imagery of Asgard, which is super beautiful. Like, really beautiful. It's such a good imagery moment. And then we get to the Frostbite, where Heimdall is. And they uh, get sent to the planet, and then the Frost King, once they get there, they go see the Frost King, and he says that uh, the House of Odin has traitors in it. And that does not sit well with uh, Thor, but the Frost King warns him. And then they're about to leave. Then they call Thor Princess. So uh, they go to fight, and then, Lo and then Loki got hit, or something happened where he started to lose his. Um, he started to turn blue, so he finds out that he's actually half giant. And then a guy got hit, and then the king releases the, a monster, but Thor manages to kill it. But even more people are coming out, but Odin bails them out and kind of apologizes, And but the damage has already been done, and Frost Giant's like, you better praise yourself, basically. So basically, war's coming, then Odin literally chews him out when they get back to Asgard. Literally. And they argue really, really bad, and uh, Thor kind of mouse off, and basically Odin uh, bans him and strips some of all of his powers and takes the the uh, the hammer and says, like, only the true heir can access this hammer, and basically, you know, until, you know, Thor gets his crap together. And so uh, then he gets sit through the, um, the frostbite, and then that's when Jane hit him with this car. And then he kind of pops back up, and then Darcy tasers him. <laughs> and they take him to the hospital, and then he looks up in the hospital, and he tries to escape, but the odd doctor sedate him, which is actually kind of a funny moment. It's like, I am. Shh. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Then he just kind of collapses. And then, um, then we cut to where old man found the hammer, because the hammer got sent in a different location than Thor. And then the, he, the old man tries to pull the hammer. Of course, he can't do it. And then we cut to where Jane goes over the photos and sees that Thor was actually in the storm. So they go try to get him back from the hospital. Then Thor escapes uh, from the hospital. And then when Jane's trying to leave, she literally hits him with his car again. 
And then uh, apparently words got around town about the hammer that no one can lift it. So people are trying to lift it. And someone uses a truck and the truck breaks. And they have a Stanley cameo where he's like, did I get it? And then uh, the shield uh, shows up. And then we cut to where Loki and, friend, and Thor's friends talk. And they do not trust him at all. And then Odin and Loki talk as well. Then Loki gets really mad at Odin. And they're literally fussing. And then Odin collapses. And then we cut to where Thor eats and drinks. And basically, he's they do it different in Asgard. When they're hungry, they throw down another place. And like, more. He does that almost like at a Denny's. It's not actually Denny's. It's like a, like a restaurant. And people are like, what the are you doing? <laughs> so uh, then Thor, um, then Jane, and then tell them about the hammer and all that type of stuff. So he wants to go get it, and then uh, they so they kind of just part ways a little bit, and then Shield shows up at Jane's place and takes her stuff, and she gets really pissed off about it. And Jane ain't having it; she's literally chewing them out and everything. But you know they're you know. Shield and they just took whatever they want. And then uh, we cut to Asgard where Loki is the king now. And his friends show up and they want to lift Thor's band, but he says no because he's very diplomat diplomatic about it and says that basically he can't do uh, what the last king did because it'll look bad on him. And then Eric, which is uh, Jane's friend. Uh, looks up Norse mythology and sees Thor and Loki, all this type of stuff. And then Thor and Jane talk. Then uh, then uh, Thor wants a horse to get to the hammer. And they're like, oh, there are no horses here. But uh, gets a ride with Jane. Then Thor and Jane talk. And then we cut to where Loki talks to his mom. Then Thor goes to the location, and Thor goes in to get it, and basically it's like a show, um, <clears throat> it's like a little base type of thing where they have a bunch of plastic, and like it's like a big structure, and it's actually really kind of cool looking, and so he jump, goes in to get, to get the hammer, and he, there's all the fight scenes, which were so badass. I loved it. And then we have Hawkeye intro, we're talking to Colton, and he says, don't do anything yet, I want to see what happens. And so Thor gets to the hammer, but the, it does not react to him, so he can't budge it. And then, uh, then Thor got taken, then Eric got to Jane um, at the hideout, and get her, and they bicker. Then Colson talks to Thor, but he doesn't talk, and then... Loki uses his magic to talk to uh, Thor and saying that Odin's dead and that he can't come back. And then Loki goes to the hammer uh, location and he tries to pull himself and it doesn't work for him either. Then Eric tries to get Thor and it works kind of. Um, Coulson wants to put taps on them. And so uh, Eric takes Thor to the bar and they get wasted. As F. And then we cut to where Loki visits the Frost King and he wants him to kill Odin, which of course Frost King agrees because you know he wants to rule everything. And then the gatekeeper Hemdall is concerned because he can't see Loki and that worries him. Then Eric, and then Eric is wasted as hell uh, when uh, Thor drops him off and then Jane gets flustered around Thor. And they talk outside about the maps and like the nine realms and a little bit of his stuff. And then he gives her um, a notebook that he managed to swipe from Shield. And then he keeps explaining things. So they sleep outside, and then we cut to where Thor's friends want to go to Thor. And then Loki summons um, Hindal, but he kind of ignores it and just kind of leaves the sword that controls the frostbite in there so they can transport because it's not disobey the king. So uh, the gatekeeper kind of 
you know, helps them out. And then S.H.I.E.L.D. saw um, a, another structure, another anomaly coming down from the sky. And they move out. And then uh, Thor made breakfast. And he's trying to be, he's starting to be more humble and start to understand stuff. So he's starting to be nicer and just to help out. Then uh, Loki sends the guard that blurry the Frost Giants earlier after him. And then, uh, then the Thor's friends show up and get the Thor, and they tell him the truth. And then Loki puts uh, the Frost King on. No. Then Loki does something shady. Uh, he puts the. Uh, I put gatekeeper. <laughs> gatekeeper. Hindal on ice and freezes him up. Then Coulson sees the markings, and then the guard comes through and starts blowing up Shield's car, and they evacuate the town. And it's blowing up the entire town. Then Sif goes to try and help, but the thing is very um, adaptable and attacks her and kind of knocks her out. Then Thor is planning to sacrifice himself, and he gets hit, and he's technically dead for a second. But then the hammer starts to react and starts to go to uh, Thor, and then he is revived, and then his powers kick in. And then he literally blows up the guard. Then Shield shows up, and Thor says him like he's an ally, uh, an ally, and tells him to get um, Jane's death back, which they agreed to do and agreed to work with her. And then you have the Frost King is in Asgard, and then Hendal uh, gets. Thor back. He manages to get through the ice. Then Thor kisses um, Jane goodbye. And then you have the Frost King almost kills um, Odin. But then Loki kills the Frost King. Then it's Thor versus Loki. And then Loki uh, literally tries to destroy the Frost Giant planet. Then it's Thor versus Loki again. And then Loki is playing tricks because he can do magical stuff. And basically, um, and so they keep fighting, and then finally Thor puts the hammer on Loki so he can't move. And then Thor literally destroys the Rainbow Bridge, even though he knows he cannot get back to Jane in that way anymore. Then cut to where Odin is finally awake, and then Loki, um, well first um, he breaks the Rainbow Bridge, and then Thor tries to help Loki up, but then he just kind of lets go and falls. And then we cut to where Sif talks to the Queen about Thor and the whole aftermath. And, um, you know, how and she tries to comfort Sif. It's like, he's just going through stuff, but he'll be fine. And then Thor talks to Odin. And now, he, now Odin's proud of Thor for what he did and the sacrifice that he made. Then we cut to Jane working on a way to get back to him. And that's in the movie. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Like I said earlier, it was a great movie. Uh, easily an A-plus movie. I really liked it. It had nice comedic um, elements in it. And you can see all the... You get a, when you think of Asgard, I think what it put on screen could punch matches what you think in your head. I thought it was really good imagery. And just everything about the movie was great. Um, there were a couple of corny parts because, you know, the, Marvel's still trying to figure itself out a little bit. So other than that, great movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, that's in this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, and also leave suggestions for other movies or TV shows or music. And I'll see y'all in my next video, which will probably be right after this, because I'm trying to knock out a bunch of stuff today. Alright, bye everybody.